The following is a fan-based parody. My Little Pony, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, and My Little Pony Equestria Girls are all owned by Hasbro, Discovery Family, and Lauren Faust. Please support the official release. Daring to, for some reason, forget she can fly and instead walks across this rickety, unstable bridge normally. Well, don't stop there! You read, I pack. That's the deal! Wait, didn't Daring Do just get the amulet? How does she already have that adventure in this book? You read, I pack. That's the deal! How is this even close to a deal? Would she have to be packing if she wasn't reading your book out loud? I wish Princess Celestia didn't need my help with the Friendship Summit in Griffinstone. Because the con is so much more important than helping a poor, impoverished society. Ladies and gentlemen, your Princess of Friendship. No. Convention consists of one room, but magically the room will grow to be about 10 times its size. Is it racist for all these non-Pegasi to dress up like Pegasi? Isn't that like blackface? I guess since it's cosplay, it's okay, but I'm still sending it anyway. My little pony. Skip. You look like a pony who'd be up for an all-inclusive, one-of-a-kind adventuration. Sorry, but all I can think of is the ShamWow guy. And seeing as how he beat up a hooker, it's a little weird to see him in a children's show. Fan can appreciate. They even put the tiles in the right order. How would they know? It's a book, not a movie, so how in-depth did she get? Scribes are dodging a, quote, score of arrows shooting forth from holes in the very walls, unquote, but, and the correct number of arrows is 20. Oh, well, score does mean 20. I'm having a hard time believing Deering was able to accurately count how many arrows she really dodged. Why is there a random anime booth at this Deering Do convention? And why are they the same posters from Fluttershy? That's one saucy duck in Makura for something made for kids. Oh, oh wait. I have crippling depression. Either Colgate has a kid we've never seen before, or she likes to date really young. Uh, please, please don't. Just don't even mention the titles. How Star Wars fans act to the prequels. I mean, there isn't a single thing after Ring of Destiny that is even remotely in the realm of the possible. Yep, the stuff in the book is impossible. As you talk to the mystical, magical element of Harmony user in person. Just tell AK Yearling that Rainbow Dash is here. I see everyone is back to forgetting who the elements of Harmony are. Ponies. Where does she store all of this? He's also over there, over... 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100, best king, best king. Crazy out here for the both of us. <gasps> if they headed outside, how did they appear inside the convention when they grabbed them? So you came up with this overcomplicated plot to lure her into the jungle and exchange it for us. How would Daring Do know where you are or that you took them? I mean, if you left her a note, then that means you found her. Couldn't you just take the key then? Realistic horse noise. Okay, that was pretty good. So, how did he solve it? I'm assuming it was because it was in a book, but if it was written in a book, doesn't that mean the way to solve it is well known? And if it's well known, why would he have used the lock in the first place? Oh, is false, and that is everything that's wrong with Daring Do and the trek to the terrifying tower. Now, I imagine this is how most people see me. Because physics. That face. Well, that's some oddly sexual bondage there. Check. Overly complicated villain plot. Check. Quibbo can't hear all the noise behind him. That face again. We'll have to carry Mr. Adventure Critic out with us. We won't be fast enough. We'll never make- You mean this slowly filling tunnel? You aren't fast enough for that? You. Rainbow Dash are awesome. Cue the shipping. Of this thing that I've already written a lot of fanfiction on. Actually mentioning fanfiction. 